Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on Akuma MC Skyblock. And in this video, we're just going to be trying to expand our farm, hopefully level up to a new crop. So stay tuned to the very end. So to start things off, we currently are on the wheat still. If we check the IS Masteries, we are about halfway to get into the potatoes. So we are at 5,000 out of 10,000. And hopefully in this video, we are going to be able to get to the potatoes. But let's go ahead and we're probably going to mine a little bit of this. But before we do that, I do want to go ahead and sell this chest. We currently have this little farm setup where we just have the mobs drop it into the fire and once they do the drops will automatically go into the auto cell chest because of the hopper and it just goes in here and we did just claim the seven mil so we're going to take that we're currently at about 130 mil and as we do keep increasing our farms we are going to be getting a lot more money but now let's go ahead and activate the book finder pet which has a chance to give us some books and let's put our wheat satchel here and let's go ahead and start farming this wheat and we're basically just going to keep doing this i think around if we do the whole farm it's going to be around 2000 so after a few of these we are going to be at the 10,000 mark and we're definitely going to be very very close to the potatoes so we're definitely going to take that i'm going to continue mining this this is also going to give us some gems money and some other things like some skill xps and with these skills we can actually get ultimate skills and stuff that just give us a lot of good drops and stuff and these skills can give us a crop boost and some crate keys and i'm going to open up some crate keys later so stay tuned to that but i think i'm going to finish farming all this now and as you can see the farming skill did level up we're at about a level 11 right now which is not terrible and as we do keep farming it's going to go up by a ton so yeah I'll, I'll be back once i do finish farming everything and the main goal is to just get to the potatoes i don't currently know if there is a better like farm system for this this is just currently how i have it and we did just get the is perk upgrade i think it just expanded our island spies or something like that which we're definitely going to take and we're just going to continue farming this uh, there might be a better way instead of me just having like look back and forth like this but this is currently just my setup and i mean definitely once we do get potatoes we're gonna look into a more efficient system but this is just what we have for now so we're definitely going to take this it's not terrible i mean it definitely does get the, the job done so yeah we're just gonna keep using this for now and hopefully we get two potatoes in no time our inventory is almost full so we're gonna have to slash shell all because we currently don't have a good satchel it's only at about 500 capacity in the master max storage okay we sell all so we did get around 20k per slash sell all and it did sell these um the crops and stuff in the satchel so 20k is not terrible for now and when we do upgrade into potatoes and stuff it's just gonna get so much better so we're definitely going to take that yeah we're just currently trying to get better farms so we can get more money and stuff so we can fit, um so we can buy spawners eventually and just keep expanding our island we did also get the gardener enchant on our hoe which basically stops us from being able to break seeds which is gonna help us a ton because earlier like in the earlier past videos when you would break these seeds they would actually break and you have to replant them so this is going to be just way more efficient and helpful so we don't have to go back and keep replanting the seeds which was kind of annoying and this is going to be very very helpful to us and it's honestly just like a quality of life kind of enchant but it does help okay we're done farming everything and we do have some more crops we can sell so slash sell law for 18k not bad in total it's probably around 50k or 40k or something like that but that is not terrible and let's check any masteries to see how much we went up i think it should be around 2 more unless it didn't um update yet but it probably should have um so, so is mastery and okay 7k that is not bad at all yeah so we did go up about 2k we're definitely going to take that after about one or two more we should be at around the 10k mark so yeah i'm probably gonna wait until this up, um grows again but i do want to go over some other things we do have 78 levels of xp so we can definitely put some more enchants on our pickaxes we have turbo mining and rebirth right now and basically turbo mining just gives you an insane mining boost for a short period of time and the rebirth just lets you enchant past the max level which is pretty good and we do have some crate keys that we're gonna open so let me go ahead and empty out my inventory and let's hopefully get some good things from this if we go into slash crates we have 96 cloud keys 20 storm keys 12 tempest keys and uh, 75 boat keys so let's start off with the cloud keys let's just open all of them looks like we've got five dungeon keys some spawners but i'm going to take these spawners we got a storm key we got six or two random tags and five value tickets we are definitely going to take the value tickets okay now let's go and open up these storm keys we have 21 i'm going to open up the 10 i'm just going to open up all the rest for now we got some uh, chunk hoppers. It looks like we're going to go ahead and vault those or put them in the chest because we don't really need those. We got some more keys, some 10 value tickets. Let's open up those for 47k value. Not bad. And we also did get a whole bunch of spawners. We're definitely going to take all these spawners. They're going to be very, very helpful to us in the long run. And two normal pet eggs. Let's open up these pet eggs. We don't have a ton of pets. So pets are honestly something we are looking out for. We got a mana pet and a universal pet. Okay, a legendary universal pet is honestly probably good we only have a common one 
And for the mana pet, we do already have a rare one. Or yeah, we have a rare one, so the common ones are really not that good. But we're definitely going to take the universal one. And we're going to go ahead and put down all these spawners. Because this is going to help us make more money. As you can tell, it's already at 50k. And we just sold it for 7 mil earlier. So this is actually going to be, be a big help for us. And pay spawners. Okay. So we do have a pretty good collection going. We do have a pretty wide variety of spawners. And 9 blaze spawners. Okay, we do have some good blaze spawners up here. We have around... Let's see. After I place these down, we do have 37. And I just have this basic farm going. And the reason they are separate from the lava right here is, first of all, I don't really think lava kills them. And also, the blazes are the best for XP. So, we're currently using them for XP. Let's go ahead and put the creepers down too. And the IGs. Or, yeah, the IGs have... We have a new spawner over somewhere just because over here because we do they only do stack to 64 i'm pretty sure or that's at least what i've seen there probably is an ice upgrade or something but i just haven't really gotten over to that yet i do want to go ahead and check how we can actually improve the crop growth speed so let's go ahead into the is perks and in this one we have to earn 500k from selling crops okay that's just something that we're gonna have to do in the long run unless let me check something i don't this might work so we are about like 53k let's see what crop sells for the most okay cactus let's go ahead and buy let's get, we can't even buy it okay so yeah um we're gonna just have to wait for all it to grow honestly and it's gonna take a little bit to get to the is growth upgrade but it is definitely going to be worth it and this is gonna help a ton because the crops are gonna grow faster which means we could get mastery unlocks a lot faster and just get more money in general but i think i might have found a shortcut for the ice perk upgrade if we go ahead and take a look in the slash shop, if we go ahead and buy some of these, we if we buy um let's just, if we buy a whole inventory, boom, and then we sell all slash sell all, it's gonna sell for around forty one k, which is not bad. But if we take a look in the ice perks, it does actually count. So if we keep doing this, it might be a loss to our money currently, but in the long run, it's just gonna be, it's just gonna help us. So we don't have to keep waiting for all of it. It will, if we honestly waited for all this, it would take like 10 times to grow. And it's honestly growing pretty slow right now. So I think this is a good investment or just something good to do. And it's a little bit of a shortcut. And I mean, we're not losing that much money because a stack is only around like 2K. So yeah, we're not going to be losing that much money. Six stacks is 15K. So yeah, we're not going to be losing too much. So it's not that big of a loss. And it's just going to help us way more than not helping us. And we did get the IS and we did get the IS crop growth upgrade. So let's go ahead and the IS perks. It should be growing a lot faster now and the next quest is to unlock three crop types from the island mastery okay that's gonna take a bit we are only on wheat but we are about to get to the potato soon and i do see some missing wheat patches in here so we're gonna go ahead and put some seeds there real quick all right so the crops are now grown so let's go ahead and farm all of them they are all grown this should give me around 2k more a little bit more probably and that's just gonna be basically like we're gonna be basically at 10k maybe you're gonna have to grind a little bit more of the wheat but you're basically going to be there so i think i'm gonna farm it real quick and i'll be back and i'll just show you how much mastery we've gotten and we do have some gems and stuff so we may go ahead and buy some fire scrolls for the farm but i don't really know let's just go ahead and check and farm okay so we did finish farming all of the wheat and let's go ahead and check the mastery so if we go into the ice masteries we're at about 9484 out of 10,000. so we are basically right there uh, after this goes like halfway or something i'm gonna go ahead and mine it but we did get a farming book so let's go ahead and warp to the enchanter so we go can go ahead and enchant this we're honestly hoping for some pretty good enchants for our Oh, so let's just see what we can get from it. Hopefully something good. Okay, so the first one, Book Hunter. We already... Okay, no, we have that on a different, like, tool, I'm pretty sure. So that just helps us find some more enchant books, which can actually be pretty useful. And then we have XP Finder, which can get us more XP from farming, logging, and fishing, it says. And that's not bad. And Celestial Hunter helps us find some extra keys, which it's not our very... That's not our most like concerned aspect right now. Uh, XP finder is not bad, but I think book hunter honestly might be the best because um, we're not even getting that much XP from farming. So let's go ahead and get this book hunter. Let's actually go ahead and apply it right now because it's pretty good and it doesn't cost too much. Okay, boom. Once you take that, let's go ahead and go back to the island. And yeah, I'm just gonna wait until these grow a little bit more because we do only need like 600, which is probably only like a few rows of this. So I'm gonna go ahead and wait. I'll come back once they do grow a little bit. And yeah. All right, so a little bit has grown, and I think this should be enough to actually unlock the potato mastery. So I'm gonna go ahead and farm the wheat that has already grown, and I'll come back and hopefully we're gonna be at the potato mastery so and we did just get the wheat mastery level up so we're definitely going to take that we can now we go ahead and check if the uh slash is masteries we can actually go ahead and get the potatoes because we did unlock them and that's gonna be very very helpful to us just for more money and stuff 
we take a look potato sells for 22 and wheat sells for 18 so it is only four dollars but it is definitely going to help us in the long run so we could just definitely break all of this wheat and replant it with potatoes or we could just make a separate farm below it or something like that which is probably better because if we have both going we're just gonna be doubling up on it and making even more money but i think i'm going to wrap things up there thanks for watching the video i hope you guys enjoyed and make sure to like subscribe for more future videos and i'll see you in the next one peace out